Well, I'm a person that didn't want to get rid of XP ever. <laughs> I got um, two computers with uh, Windows 7 or and one with Windows 8, but I wound up putting Classic Shell on it, but I still like XP Pro a lot better, XP Professional. So anyway, uh, you know, I was kind of like, oh, they ended support April 2014. That was the final end, but guess what? Now, I got this off the internet on an article, but it's, if you have XP, I, I'm, I did this. Now, I don't know. I don't want to say this is guaranteed to work for everybody, but it sure worked for me. And according to the article I read, uh, XP, if you have uh, Service Pack 3 installed like you should be, uh, if you do this registry hack, you'll, you'll be able to get support for the next five years uh, because of something the way they got it in Microsoft, I don't know what the deal is. But anyway, it's you got to go in Notepad and you make a file called xp.reg, not xp.txt, and make sure it's not xpreg.txt. It's xp.reg, and you might have to make it so the folder you put it in, the uh, system files are hidden files and system files are shown. Then in there you just write. You know, in Notepad, Windows Registry Editor version 5.00, then the bracket H key underscore local underscore machine uh, forward slash system forward slash WPA forward slash pause ready bracket and then uh, in quotations installed equals D word dot and then there's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros followed by a one that's it and I did this and I went to Windows update and it updated my computer with the latest security update so I you know I have right next to me Windows 8 with classic shell and I have XP I still use XP all the time so I'm quite cool this is great so <laughs> I'm probably going to build some of the other uh, desk desktops that you know, that suck these, you know, that I have that they, they got old. I got the, I got the cases, you know, that come apart real fast and stuff. You could change the motherboards and everything real fast and the quick uh, disconnect drives and stuff with the bay. Well, I'm probably going to do a couple of those XP machines too. Now that supposedly this means you can get updates all the way through 2019. How's that? So, did I make that clear? It's XP.reg notepad and I'll actually put this down in the information box you should be able to copy it and do it and you just double click on this thing and it you know this uh, notepad file and it adds it to the registry how's that and you're all done any it worked for me anyway over and out